Tom Webster from the US of A and James Crinland from the UK are here to talk about podcasts and the future of podcasts. Before we talk about the future, Tom, I was speaking to you last year yeah. in Austria. <laughs> what has changed in the US and the podcast scene over the last year? A couple of things. Number one, a lot more mass appeal, like sit down in front of the television at eight o'clock at night kind of content. Uh, that's, that's certainly grown a lot. Uh, number two, Spotify has really stepped up and turned podcasting into a major part of a streaming platform and has done a lot to promote it. Uh, and number three, there's a lot more money in the space. There have been some very high profile acquisitions in the space. There's going to be more consolidation. But that money is funding more and better content and that's going to bring more people into the space. James, in terms of content and programming, are we still seeing huge popularity in series about like crime, the ones that you can stick with over eight or ten episodes? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, true crime is obviously still really important, but actually I think the clever thing that many podcasters have been doing is trying to engage habit. That's one of the reasons that radio does so well, because it's a very habitual medium. So having daily news podcasts, you know, whether it's from the New York Times, whether it's from the ABC in Australia, or The Guardian in the UK, or, or whatever, has been been really helpful because it's beginning to start that sort of habitual I get in the car I listen to a podcast uh, that podcasting really needs yeah over the past 12 months you're looking at it at a global scale James what has surprised you or shocked you when you look across the globe I think really the um, uh, podcasters beginning to really make uh, the benefit of uh, Android. So Android has 80% of the mobile phones out there in the world, and there's never really been a very good podcast app uh, for that. Now Google Podcasts exists, and the player is pre-installed into every Android phone, but also Spotify is there as well. And Spotify is already the number one podcast app in many places across the world, including you know much of uh, South America, places like Poland, Italy, and so on and so forth. So I, so I think we're seeing an awful lot of, of interesting things going on there in terms of the platforms. And I think also um, real growth in India. So India is growing very, very fast indeed. And that's, uh, given that there are over a billion people who live there, that's a really interesting you know, market to actually be in, particularly for English uh, spoken podcasts. Finally, let's look into the future. Mm. Tom, look into your crystal ball and tell me what you see for the next 12 months in podcasting. I think the space is going to continue to grow. I mean, I think there is a cap on it that's kind of imposed by the fact that we don't only listen to spoken word, we also listen to music, and you can't really podcast licensed music without a, a lawyer shooting you in the face, which yeah. I understand. Which no is, one wants, really, you know. No one wants that. No. Uh, but it's going to continue to grow. I mean, we see its growth, not only in terms of listeners and, and the reach of it, but in the time that people spend listening to podcasts, the, the, the the share of ear, as we call it, for podcasting has more than doubled in five years. There's a real kind of renaissance in spoken word programming in general. And I think that's going to continue for the next 12 months. Tom and James, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.